Churchill said, dogs look up to you, cats look down at you, but pigs treat you like an equal. So that's real. I think that's what I like. I raise popularly pigs for pets. And this is the Piggy Palace and Gallery, as we call it. I call it a cosmic connection. People, some people just sort of have a cosmic connection to pigs. They have this curiosity about them. They have this happy-go-lucky attitude about them. I have been involved with pigs since the 70s. I used to raise commercial pigs. Banjo was my first house pig, but he got big. And so he ended up, of course, having to go outside and live. We had a party for him every year, and we had a banjo fan club. We had members to the banjo fan club from not just the United States, but some international people. It was so much fun. We married two potbellies at one of banjo's birthday parties, so we had a wedding ceremony. And the pigs were dressed, and the boy was in a tuxedo, and the little girl pig had a wedding veil, and I had her ear pierced, and she had her toenails painted. And that was hilarious. It was hilarious. I was the minister, of course. And the vows were written in pig language. I now pronounce you husband and wife Yoda. You may now kiss the bride. What God has joined together, let no swine put asunder. <laughs> we know how to have fun. So I was really deep into the commercial pig business for many years. But in 1989 is when I started with the pot belly. So I did both pot bellies and commercial pigs from 1989 to 2001. And then that's when I stopped raising the commercial pigs and just kept raising these little guys. This is Pooter. He's a special needs pig. He, uh, at 10 days of age, he developed muscle weakness in his back legs. He was in pain and he would cry some and his back legs would just fall out from under him. And so I got together with my vet and discussed what was happening and got a um, injectable shot. Well, he didn't get better very quick, so I consulted a vet friend of mine in North Carolina who told me to try some hydrotherapy. I know. He's doing so much better than he was doing. I mean, this was from 10 days old. He is now nine weeks old. So he has had this 99% of his life, he's not been normal, except for in his cuteness. <laughs> he's always been cute. <laughs> Boy, you did good. You did good. You did good. You did good. Yes, you did. You did good. If I could learn a lesson from pigs, it would be just to take the time to enjoy things. I often say pigs are hedonistic. You know, I don't really care how, what, anything affects you, but I really care that I'm comfortable and happy and fed well. You know, they really are that way. And I guess I kind of cater to, the, <laughs> to them getting what they want. It's just kind of my calling, I think. I'm not sure why. I like to say somebody has to do it. <laughs> I don't know why I got chosen, but I am doing it <laughs> and enjoying it.